Hello and welcome guys to the first sort of suggestion on a book to read or an audio book to listen to. It's a new series and this is just based around my preferences rather than anything in particular. And I most of my preferences are around technology when it comes to reading or maybe fantasy type books, but this is a generally non-fiction suggestion. So this book I'm suggesting, which I'll pop up on the screen, is The Singularity is Near by Ray Kurzweil. Or Kurzweil, I'm not sure how to say it. In fact, here is the book right here. It's a fairly hefty one, but it's not expensive for you guys in the UK. It's about thirteen pounds. It's about fourteen dollars generally. So the pricing's a little bit better in the states, and I'm sure in other places it'll be of similar value. You can also get it on CD or ROM, so you can get an audio book. However, um, it doesn't look like it's on Audible or anything like that. It's a fairly hefty book and it's difficult read. So just want to talk about what it is. As mentioned, I'm into AI. I'm into, I suppose, futurism is the idea, but that always sounds a little bit sci-fi. I don't mean sci-fi, I mean practical future predictions. And this is something that is referred to as the technological singularity, or simply known sometimes as the singularity now, although some people do get confused with the space uh, phenomenons that you sometimes see in sci-fi, and I'm sure there's in, in real scientific terms. Let me just read you a little extract of uh, what the technical singularity, te technological singularity is. So it's a, it's a hypothesis that the invention of artificial superintelligence, ASI, will abruptly trigger runaway technological growth, resulting in unfavorable changes to human civilization. And according to this hypothesis, an upgradable intelligent agent, such as a computer running software with real AI, as in conscious AI, would enter a runaway reaction of self-improvement cycles, with each new and more intelligent generation appearing more and more rapidly, causing an intelligence explosion resulting in powerful superintelligence that would qualitatively far surpass all of human intelligence. Now, it's quite a lot to take in, especially if English isn't your first language. It's basically about making a machine, we'll just say machine, a computer, that is so intelligent that it is more intelligent than everything else on Earth put together, well, all humans put together, and in some predictions, all of all other computing technology put together. That itself doesn't sound so bad, and if you have a super supercomputer that's super powerful that still needs person input and fine but it's when you bring an AI to it conscious thought into it the one thing that people are, are getting scared of and when I say people by the way I don't mean I'm sorry to alienate anyone who's on this but not flat earther type people we're talking about Elon Musk we're talking about Stephen Hawking we're talking about Bill Gates we're talking about people that really do know their stuff are genuinely worried about this so the suggestion is by 2040 to 2050, we're going to develop something along these lines. You know, the Moore's Law is almost irrelevant now. If you don't know what Moore's Law is, I would suggest checking it out. It's about the trajectory of computers, basically, CPU, because we're changing how CPUs work. So that, that's that's probably a different conversation. I'm sure there's lots of YouTubers that will cover that better than I can with my understanding. I'm no scientist um, or computer engineer by any means. The reality is we're advancing at an extraordinary rate, more than we ever have before. And it is likely that we will develop AI in the next 30 to 40 years. It's also likely that our computing capabilities are going to easily surpass what the human mind is capable of, even all 7 or 8 billion of us by that point. And the question is, what's going to happen? There's some more positive thinkers out there that believe we're basically going to make God. And I don't mean that from a philosophical standpoint, I mean an actual God. Maybe not from what it can physically do, at least to begin with, but because it can evolve itself so abruptly and change to match, it's going to be the ultimate, ultimate organism in many ways. I don't think we can call it a machine at that point. And what will it think of us? My question would be, what do you think of a cockroach? Hopefully it'll be benign. Uh, Elon Musk thinks it might end up treating us like a pet, like household cats. Um, but what does that mean? If you program something like that to keep all humans happy maybe it'll just pump us full of dopamine i don't know uh, which site might sound good but you're gonna have no real conscious thought other than you're gonna be happy all the time there's real real concerns you know obviously there's uh, conversations about <laughs> it's actually quite terrifying a uh, prevailing thought now is suggesting that we may be in an ancestor simulation which i'll, I'll probably talk about in another video and another recommended read I am not a scientist, so I might get negative comments about this. I might be getting things wrong. I don't think so on this one, though. But this book is all about that, and it sums it up. It is a hefty read, guys. You know, you are talking five, six hundred pages, but it's not too complicated to read considering the subject matter. So I'd heavily suggest reading this, especially if you've got any interest in it, any any sort of twenty to thirty year realistic future projections. It is scary, though. It is scary. 
and you know the other aspect of this and this was Stephen Hawking was particularly worried for it before he passed away was why would it necessarily be positive why would making a god that is so superior to us and it knowing who its creators are and all our weaknesses and flaws is it a good thing and that's what this talks about I'm on the bait I want us to get to that point but my worry is the lack of regulation on this sort of thing we regulate everything computer games videos but nobody's truly regulating AI we're not at the stage yet where you have to worry about it but there has been some interest in you know Google in particular is probably the scary one that's certainly what Elon Musk is teaching itself to walk in a simulated environment doesn't sound like a big thing but it really is and two AIs developing computer code to talk to each other which they haven't been shown how that's part of the code in many ways to machine learn we're not at the stage where they're doing things that are entirely unexpected although it wasn't expected that it was within the elements but we're it's getting scary now guys but it's also getting exciting so i do suggest reading this i'll check the i'll put the amazon link below it's about 15 bucks as mentioned uh, obviously i don't get a commission from that or anything it really is just me suggestion uh suggesting even can't speak um what to read uh, very much a hobby channel again guys so it probably will continue with these videos maybe suggesting things around tech uh, also i do like my fantasy books so there might be some suggestions around that anyway folks thank you have a good one